Nate Donk. We're going to get the answer today in this qualification game, in this advancement game towards the group stage. Mongols, Team Spirit, Mirage, and what a great veto we have for this series as well. Of course, Donk is going to send it up mid the second the game begins. And this will not be the last time you see him jump out window or swing out con. This guy has no fear. I hope he brings the same energy, the same screaming he did yesterday. Yeah, the Mongols are going to try and get into A, so for now, Donk left out of the action. He will be able to mop up these players out through lower, but an immediate dink as him and Senzu Ooh. clash. It's Senzu in with the first. Damage done, they know where he is, but here with the Glock fighting back, not able to find anything else. That bomb will go down in the meantime, so teed up over towards the connector are the Mongols. They're going to try and shut down these points of rotation. They want to try and deal with these two players spotted in mid. A dink to Magix. Even more damage done to Chopper. This one slows down for Team Spirit. Oh, but that kill, that's going to start to propel them back in. And Donk, I don't know how he wins that fight. Low on HP, what? finally tapped out, but it's a Team Spirit pistol round picked up. And it's Zontix flying the flag with three. Donk coming in right behind him with two. Yeah, it's so easy to, you know, get enamored by players like Donk and Shiro. But yeah, I'm glad the death did break down Zontix as well. And Chopper talked about him in the inter interview as well with Shocks. This is another talent that, of course, goes under the radar when you have such big names on your screen. Team Spirit aren't all aimed, though. I love that rotation out. They were going to come back up connected with two players after they clear Senzu down lower, but instead they split. One goes window, one goes con. They don't get caught by that double con crossfire. Really nice retake by Spirit, and we're going to have Mongols coming in with an early force, all par for the course, and straight through the Molotov into A. Yeah, Chopper hears these footsteps. No one lining up a flash to help him just yet, though, so he's left fighting this dry. Shiro makes contact next and is able to thin out the herd here. Smokes is still down. Attempt to get that bomb planted, but Magix has a thing to say about it from CT. And so this one's looking to get mopped up. The four spy might just fall on deaf ears here as Blitz is cornered in. And so that force locked out by Team Spirit. That is a nice way for that second round to go. They're now looking for this 3-0 flawless start. It just brings a smile on your face watching you know, Donk scream every round. We've only just begun, and he started high energy. Mongols, though, I've got to say, Harry, they, they've been used to being shouted at. As long as they don't go, get called uh, noobs, I think it was, uh, I think they'll just be just fine. Oh, I like the faith in Senzu here. Yeah, got some belief in this guy. Let's talk about the map, though, briefly, because, of course, it's going to be Mongols' pick here, but Spirit are on a nine winning streak on Mirage. Yes. To put it in context, it goes both ways. You've got belief in your own system. Mongols, in the past 12 months, dating back to Kato, oh, sorry, Cologne, have won this map 17 out of 20 times. That includes wins over Heroic and other EU teams. So they're going to be confident, but so is Donk, who runs up mid and drops that rifle with these pistols out. He will get overwhelmed, but they're not going to let that AK get retrieved. No, they go and hunt down everybody up in top mid. And so Team Spirit... 3-0 before that buy is going to come back on through for the Mongols, as mentioned. I guess technically still yet to drop around here, Academy. Yeah, Let's they see are how six, They are 16-0. Yeah, Harry. they're 16. They, they've done it. The, the first 16-0 you've seen in CS2. Well, gun round's out now, so let's see what Mongols have got cooked up. I kind of hope they just they just uh, you know everyone. Every game that would actually all the be way through to the final. Yeah, that would be entertaining. It's the first time for something. Everything, in fact. Shira gets smoked out a window here. It's Orb v Orb. Zontix swinging in off the catwalk. And even Don coming through the connector to fight under Spirit. It's going to be hard to get them out of this position. Even though the Orb gets cut off by Utility, that does not stop this team from taking control. And Donk goes another step further. He's not only watching under, he's watching top. He's doing everything. But Mongols are slow on their default here, yet to even take mid control. A jiggle for Blitz, back to the A side. Chopper, you know, he had a great game yesterday on uh, Ancient B site. Got a, a few multi kills when required of him to lean into that 13 and 0. But he is really on his own right now. And with Blitz selling a mid take, Donk, he's going to get left to the wayside. It's all on Chopper, the captain. Molly goes under, so he's allowed to keep hanging out up top here, but that swing will punish him. 
It's Shiro to take contact next on this AWP. It moves on Tix, so suddenly this three-man hold that was once in middle has shifted over and has been used to pad out this A site. Mongols have stopped in their tracks. They might look to slow down now as Blitz is out through lower tunnels, arriving very late to the scene here over in mid. And he won't be given a fight. Now, they saw a lot of bodies over towards A, and so right now that bomb is just charging up into the apartments. This is awkward for Shiro in mid. He's caught swinging it wide with just the pistol by his side. And so now that you've seen that, now that you've seen the mid lurk, you know that Mongols have the oh. info. Magix is trying to get ahead of this last second rotate, and he's oh, got him off the bomb. Off. Oh, oh, there's not time. That's it. That's the round. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, that's the round really? right there. Yeah. Betrayed by the clock. Magix plays it perfectly, just charging in. He knows that if there's only one player there, if there's only one man trying to plug in those numbers, all it takes is either the kill or to get him off the bomb, and he's done it. He's won the round for Spirit. That hurts, because you could argue that Blitz is there to cover him. He's up on Catwalk. Sure, Magix will probably still be able to deny that bomb player. It's very close. It's, it's just believing you have the time, getting off that plant, going for the kill, and then less than a second between him and the round. Unfortunate, but what a great play for Magix. Oh, bye-bye, Donk. The chess grandmaster of Blitz comes through with the opening kill in this round, and he goes back for more. Senzu helps out. A couple of kills come through in middle. Finally, Mongols get their foot in the door. And they've got a lot of space over here towards Cat. Thanks to taking out these two mid players, right? You know you've got a nice bit Ooh. of room to maneuver. And there's Senzu taking heads off. Magix denied the round over towards B in the last. Might have to look to do it again here. He's creeping up through short, looking for this player lost to ladder room. And in the meantime, the Mongols are still posted in the apartments. Techno's flanked all the way through the market. You won't find Magix. Surely not. He's checking everything else first. Magix still gets a chance to fight, and he moves forward as well. Does he know B's been taken? Techno catches him coming back. No realization there for Magix, and this time Mongols seem to be on for a round winner. Spirit's first L in the whole competition. Get him out early. Oh, and there it is. There it is. The first round put on the board against this team. And it's the Mongols to do it. Round as well, we're just kind of mostly, you know, the, the saved guns, right? Everyone else kind of was rocking pistol armor. So the upgrades come through after they win out the mid fight. And out of all the ways for Team Spirit to, to take their first L, that one's going to hurt a little. Yeah, Don getting caught alone in middle swinging. Shiro smoked out, goes for the, the break, and Senzu's already up in ladder room. You know, if you are unfamiliar with the Mongols, if you thought, oh, this isn't the team that, you know, made a run uh, back all the way last year at Katowice, that were able to eliminate other Brazilians in the Rio Major as well. Well, they've got even more firepower. It seemed unlikely with the departure of Cabal with score, but Senzu has been an absolute monster at 17 years of age. And so the Mongols are certainly here to play, taking down Furia yesterday afternoon. A team you cannot underestimate. And Spirit, despite going 4-1 up, they are immediately broken economically. Down to pistols, good bit of util. But Mongols have been playing some pretty slow defaults as of so far. So they can draw this round out. There's no kit either. Something would have to go drastically wrong for Mongols to lose this round. But it is Counter-Strike after all. Yeah, there's still a, a nice bounty of util left up on Team Spirit. They're going to start expelling some of that now to try and regain this mid control, to try and throw themselves into some of these fights. Chopper looks to take one of his own. Down at the ramp side, no he will tap out Mazzino, and suddenly three on three given way oh. to Shiro up in the window. Does it with the Deagle, what he couldn't do with the AWP earlier. Long force back by the Molly. Smoked off in the top of Con. Chopper okay. just spammed Blitz out. 
Never even saw the guy, and so it's left to Techno to have to make this play. 1v3, and Donk is just on the avoidance path right now, trying to get away oh, no. through the murder hole. That's so optimistic. He's up against the Donk, for crying out loud, and he will get dinked out of the round. So Team Spirit, with the Force, are able to regain their control over this game. It's just layer after layer of re-peaking in mid, just Mirage. It's It's... Non-stop for Spirit. One Deagle goes. Dom tried again as well, but he gets mollied back. And I love that he even retreats through ladder room as well. He plays it very smart there. I, you know, Techno going through is a bit of a surprise. That feels like, like you said, optimistic at best. But that's an eco or a force win for Team Spirit to immediately put them back on track. Five to one. No respite for the Mongols. They still have a rebuy, but this will be their last unless something comes of it. Fantastic start for Spirit, to be expected. Back to the mid control for the Mongols. They've really wanted to fight for this early in this round. You actually don't have that usual right. harassment from Donk out through the connector. And so this is going to give a little bit more room to them. And Blitz tried oh. to take that in his stride. However, Zontix from over at Catwalk is able to spot him out. And so what felt like a bit of a diamond in the rough there for, for the Mongols, a man sneaking all the way up through Khan, cut down in his prime, now sees the 5v4 go the way of Spirit. And they're left trying to reclaim space on this A play. They were already pretty all into the idea of going A at the start of the round, and so they, they kind of have to stick to their guns right now. Techno's out in the bottom of mid, but we've sometimes seen these, these late con lurks, you know, struggle to find impact because the rest of the gang just get cut down oh. coming out through ramp, and a missed molly from Senzu. That's only going to rub salt in the wound. Donk's allowed to freestyle it on the ladder with support from Chopper out at the spawn. This one is a done deal, and it's a damn donking all day here up in the A site. It will get finished <laughs> up by 9-10, but surely this is the end of the line in the 1v3. I, he is just a homing missile. He just swings. He knows you're there. He comes for you. But is that really a way in? Back up on Palace. Chopper has the perfect position, and his teammate can swing off contact. Not required. It's another round for Spirit. You understand why Mongols go a bit, uh, you know, scared there. They're great position for Blitz to get up Con so fast. But as he's about to catch Chopper or potentially the player in, in jungle, uh, Zontix catches him all the way from Catwalk. And Mongols, because they get that control so easily at Con, they know that, okay, well, Donk and probably more are at the A site. It's going to be a heavy defense or we wouldn't have gotten this much room through middle. And so they're a bit timid coming out of ramp and they never find Donk in, Pal in Palace. Six to one. They do get a rebuy, but the util is... Well, almost non-existent. Donk back up top mid, decent nade, and an even better kill, making spraying look easy in a game renowned for it to not be. Chopper swings out off a of flash as Shiro catches more, and just as you like it, the round is over. Donk sprays two more down. He is 12 and five right now. Yeah, wow. This is this is quite the display, isn't it? This is a spirit that are really in fighting form. They are hungry to leave an impression here in Katowice. I think that's safe to say. Doesn't seem to matter who stands in their way here in the play-ins. They want these games over, and they want them over quickly. That's the impression we're getting. The fact that Donk starts his round in mid, fighting for that top mid control, and so he's constantly across these rounds, so kind mobile. of putting the fear in the Mongols that he's going to be there to face them in mid. And then he insta, upon getting the kill to Blitz, repositions up the connector. He's there to help with the A play. He ends the round with three kills. Look at kind of his flight paths here. You know, he's instilling a great deal of fear across some real key areas of the map and so it's forcing the mongols into these awkward spots they're they're terrified and look even in that round there you think you learn where donk is no quick as he's appeared in top mid he's out swinging you at the stairs look, i'm certainly no donk doubter here and i think the, the games are speaking for themselves but the question is is how high can he go right that's that's the question for spirit it's what what is the limit for this team you know taking on top 10 teams something new for this young player so uh, for katavica there's there's going to be questions answered about what the ceiling is of this current spirit roster and right now it's seeming exceedingly high farming lesser opponents but what happens when you put them against the best we are all waiting to find out
Yeah, something I am excited for is, you know, when you kind of get it versus, like you say, just top top tier opposition, is there going to be a bit more fear instilled? Because if there's one thing you can say about the play style, it, it is fearless right yeah. now. I don't think so. It's more, can you counter the play style? Mm. Not, can you stop the play style? I don't think Dong's going to change his ways. Oh, they broke, molly. don't fix it. Oh, Great God. molly. Wow, they were going for a boost up. Donk didn't catch that player close to Con, and they'll go through with a flash instead. Donk swings off the contact. It's a five on two, and they know they're both lower. They know they just burnt alive, and Donk will put them in the box. Another <laughs> headshot. He's just jumping out window. They still want it alive, but not for long. Damn, yeah, this is this is brutal. The Mongols are, are really running into a brick wall right now. They got that one round. They had a couple of chances to try and turn it around when they when they broke the team spirit money up against that force. And, and since then, it's just been team spirit back to their winning ways. And you know, around this kind of you know real proclivity to fight for this mid control and to throw themselves into as many engagements. You've had these nice, you know, util pieces to, to supplement the, the retake over in mid. Hell, that molly basically, you know, won you the round. It brought two players down to like 10 health. Every round, Shiro's been nading this smoke in the window, so he's still able to exert a bit of pressure here. Oh, Bonk nice. Finally, bow. finally punished for some of these fights he's taking over in mid. You have to win this round now. There's no excuses and there's no chances. He gets spammed through smoke inside of the molly of a B pick for Techno. That opens up a huge chasm. They have to take it. Zontix pushes back through the smoke and finds a scope at top middle. My God, just when you think they have a way back in, Techno's out of that B site like a light. And it's up to A instead. Mizino, let yet to frag, has taken space. But Spirit have great timing on what is a flank. Yeah, Chopper heard that. He started running. He started running. He heard this. He knows that the bomb's going back and that he's right behind them. Oh, does he run for too long? Yes, he yes, does. Yes, he has. Blitz is now on the angle. And so Blitz is going to collect that one for free. All right, I've heard about this guy. Shiro in the 1v2. Primed with his weapon of choice. Going to molly default to try to slow down that plot. The wall bank did connect. Will get dealt with from CT. And so there's the Mongols with their second round, their lifeline to try and grind back in right at the end of this first half. It's not much, but it's something to go off, and it, it, it's far more than anyone else has managed so far. Yeah. And it all started with this kill on Donk trying to aggro out that con smoke down in mid. I mean, you know, that just comes down to Chopper running too long. If he does, if he starts sneaking a little earlier, he has a backstab, he kills the plant, he wins the round. So, yeah, good uh, good round for Mongols. But is it something they can reproduce on this T side? Again, triple fight into middle, 9-10. Wherever you scope, you're going to get a gunfight. They're coming for you, buddy. Shiro runs up mid with a scope, and 9-10, he's had enough. They're popping Palace instead, or at least they're trying to dead immediately. Chopper can't even swing. He gets spammed all the way through that box. And now Mongols are out for once. God damn it. Like, look at the minimap. They're so boxed in. They're so boxed in. There's even this flank coming what? around from behind, but it doesn't matter. Donk and Magix will deal with it. And so the flanks never even need it. They're just there, like, supplementing it in rounds that don't need it. You know, it's, it's a vitamin overload right now for Team Spirit with all these damn supplements flying around. Nine to two, running away with this CT side. And it's Donk with that lovely little two piece. Ooh. Oh, this shit. Classic. Damn. Yeah, it, the, the pressure never stops, really, in a game like this. And here in the Hall of Heroes, we have faces that want to be on those walls and maybe one day will. And, you know, one of the things I am really liking is that, you know, for someone like Chopper, who's never been afraid of having a team that like a fight, you know, he this is kind of like the perfect environment you feel like for him. You've got Donk, who's just kind of egging everyone else on as well to, to believe and to take these gunfights. Someone who can do it really well. Then alongside him, Zontix is this like phenomenal second piece who's also yeah. more than willing to be involved in this early aggro. Shiro, as mentioned, has just been harassing middle by nading the smoke time after time. This is a very complimentary squad and here. Chopper's made major runs with lesser teams by buying MAC-10s and rushing through smokes. Mm. You know, he the Vegas squadron days were very much annoying for teams to deal with. And now he has the best roster he ever has. And that's, that's saying something given a top four major placing at Antwerp. 
Chopper back as CT is no sleeper when it comes to killing himself. Doc gets two, Chopper does the same, and the heart is locked in a box. Team Spirit looking for a 10 map win streak here on Mirage. making things very uncomfortable for Gamer Legion as they make their final pounce in this A bomb site. Isaac doing so much work, a double as Acor strikes back and suddenly it's just Norbert left in the 1v2 and this could be a clutch. He's got that first no problem, but the second won't be. It's Acor, as soon as he gets his hands on that weapon, as soon as he gets the AWP out, he strikes for a triple kill. That's some fine op work from Acor. Gets the entrance on the player playing headshot and from there just turns into support. Knows as his AKs move forward, his teammates move forward. Defenders are gonna have to swing to take these fights to stop the progression. And he's just chilling on the ramp the whole round in safety, using that AWP as a rebuttal. 5-3 to three for Gamer Legion. James got the AWP now, though, too. Ooh, this could be really exciting. James versus Acor in the AWPing department, starting in round 9. Acor looking for that initial pick, because Flit's obviously been doing this so much, but it's a change-up. It's going to be James taking the first attempt at combat. It isn't going to go his way, so he changes up, uses the blast of the smoke, and it's Acor that reacts faster. It's Flit that goes down this time. Yeah, and the problem for VP, they're already getting worked on this map in 5v5s, it feels. Gamer Legion has tactically won these, these first eight rounds that we've seen played, and now all of a sudden you're starting to lose players early on, starting to get picked by Acor, starting to lose, you know, with some of the pushes you've done, and now you're playing at a disadvantage and getting beat strategically. Bang! That nade lands perfectly in between two. That's a much better nade coming in. And that's going to soften up some of these attackers. That scares them away entirely. However, if they get funneled back to Jame with the AWP, he's posted up. He's ready for any of these late round peaks, any of these late mid-round takes of a ramp. They haven't had to deal with this yet. They haven't had to deal with the Jame AWP. If Acor just slides out. Oh, this surely he's got he's even oh. with the warning system, but Acor still reacts faster than Jame. He had every opportunity. He's seen the shoulder before Acor even had the peak. And it doesn't matter. Snacks making the play elsewhere into the B bomb site. Good headshot, continues the commitment, and goes down to Norbert. Gamer Legion have 35 seconds to stay committed into this A bomb site, and no one from VP is here. Yeah, and Snacks going one for one is just fine. He gets one kill and then also finds the position of a different defender, so Gamer Legion know, regardless, if they push forward into the A bomb site, the worst thing they got to face up against is a four on one. And it's just VP saving, because they're out of money and they need these rifles. Man, they better switch on in this game. Gamer Legion poised with the economy the way it is. Pure, unadulterated psychopathy from Team Spirit in that first half of Mirage. A CT side where Mongols barely got their foot in the round, barely didn't get a bomb plant, uh, I think only once in an entire 12 round half. It's 10-2 and it's almost 10 maps in a row on Mirage for Team Spirit. That's up against, you know, the best Mirage team in Asia, I would argue. And the Mongols right now have nothing to show for it. Absolute domination. And you're not just getting donked, you're getting zontixed as well. You're getting you're getting zonked, man. Like that's <laughs> that's what's been happening right now Back to, to the Mongols. Now Techno, this is a nice little grimy position up on top of the van. Often good for one, but not able to find it. And now they start to flood out through the apartments. Techno is cooling. He, in fact, he is begging for rotates right now, but everyone oh. is a little far away. And so Techno is fed to the wolves. That bomb goes down and the Mongols are on for a retake. 3v5 and it only gets worse from here. Chopper, that one is dead to rights. Never even to make a dent in this pistol round. It is flawless for Team Spirit. 20 and 8 on Donk as well. He's even calmed down. It's not even worth screaming about at this point. As 
Team Spirit just sit a moment away from their map pick in this series. It's Ancient up next. It's Nuke that it feels like we won't need if this one can keep up. And we will not stop saying his name anytime soon. The 17-year-old sensation of Team Spirit with an apt team around him. And here's the thing, you know, I think in spite of uh, the Mongols' best in Fury just yesterday, a trend that they've been keen to repeat, I think it would have been easy to look at this and go, yeah, well, of course Team Spirit are winning. You know, I think it's easy to kind of minimize the impact that the Mongols could have had here. But, you know, within the playing stage, there are going to be some lopsided games. There are going to be ones where you have a heavy favorite. And in spite of that, I think a lot of these games have been fairly close. Like, you've seen teams put through their paces. And so what's really standing out for Team Spirit right now is how they're not even letting the games get close. They're not even letting it be competitive. You've never been worried across their play and run so far. And this one is no exception to that rule. They're looking to move on a match point, and they've... They, they've not even broken a sweat. They're not even celebrating anymore. It's just another day in the office right now for Team Spirit. They are keen on making it to that group stage, and it feels like they're destined to get there. Yeah, you know, when, when the Mongols were under IHC, obviously slightly different roster, only two similar players uh, from that time, but it was back at last Katowice, they beat Cloud9 in the group stage. That was after going through and eliminating Fury and playing as they've you know, set up yesterday. They beat Cloud9 two and zero, man. They eliminated them. So this is you know not a, a region or a country or a roster to sleep on by any means, but they seriously have met their maker today. I think if there's one good thing to take away in general from the Mongols and, and their runs of previous events, it's how deep the Mongolian talent pool does go and how many players we keep seeing. Uh, you know, new rosters, new faces, and still solid results. Uh, we'll forget about this one, hopefully quickly. I hope they do too. They've got Ancient up next. And even Spirit begrudgingly slow in this second round. Uh, yeah, I mean, here's what I'll say about this one. This round's going to be slow till the exact moment it isn't. And yeah. uh, then it's going to be very fast. They know that the Mongols are force buying here because it's the last round. So, of course, they are. But that means they don't have a lot of util to fall back on, right? So you kind of burn that out early. You tried your hand at a couple of cheeky opening picks over towards the apartments and out in mid. You didn't get given them, but you know you've burnt through the bulk of the limited util that the Mongols had here. And so now you've got free reign across the map to kind of dictate how this round plays out. Magix has gotten into position at Khan. Chopper's with him. They are ready to pounce upon this A site. Donk opens. Shiro follows up with another tap oh, in nice. the AK. They will deal with the short man. And so now it's just Senzu and Blitz to try and stop the inevitable. Not a bad way for this to start. A 1D from Senzu oh, okay. and Blitz follows suit. Off the bomb now. They're looking to fight. They're looking to deal with these Deagles without even playing around this bomb. And now that they've got that kill in Khan, they'll finish the round on the back of it. Damn, what an opener from Team Spirit here. A home map for the Mongols, but a 10 winning streak now locked in for Team Spirit on Mirage. Sees them 1-0 up in the series. Yeah, the group stage is inevitable for Team Spirit. There's no doubt about it. And now they only sit around or rather a map away from it. It's ancient up.